My name is Dr. Ian Strawford, and I'm the Medical Director of the Skin Excellence Clinics in the Southwest. And I'm going to talk today about hair loss treatments that we offer at our clinics for both men and women. What hair loss treatments are offered at Skin Excellence Clinics? So at Skin, Ex at Skin Excellence Clinics, we've been offering hair loss treatments for over 10 years now. And we have a variety of treatments uh, on offer for both men and women. And these include uh, PRP, uh, platelet-rich plasma, and often termed the, the vampire hair restoration. And more latterly, we've been offering uh, polynucleotides or RNA therapy, uh, PDRN as it's called. And very recently, we've just started offering topical exosome treatment in combination with dry microneedling. So these are all very exciting treatments that uh, we can now give uh, solutions for, for, for hair loss. How do the treatments work? So let's look at how these treatments work. Um, we've been using uh, PRP or platelet-rich plasma for many, many years in lots of areas within the face and the body and specifically within the hair. So PRP uh, stands for platelet-rich plasma and it effectively is your own blood cells. So we take a sample of your, a large sample of your blood and we can uh, extract through special methods the platelet uh, cell fraction of the plasma. And we can activate those platelet cells to release the growth factors that are contained within. And it's those very specific growth factors when they're injected into the scalp will stimulate the hair follicles. We know that in most cases of hair loss, whether it's men or women, there is a slowing, slowing down of the, of the hair follicle cycle and the ha hairs are being produced less often, less frequently and of less thick quality than they used to be. So if we can stimulate the hair follicle to produce more hairs and better quality hairs, then you're going to see a change. And certainly PLP has been shown evidence to do that. The second treatment that we've been offering for a year now is called polynucleotide therapy. So what are polynucleotides? Polynucleotides are effectively segments of DNA or RNA as it's called. Now in this case, the DNA is extracted from salmon sperm, uh, but it's not unique to salmon. It's the RNA polynucleotide fraction, which can be used in, in, in humans very safely because it's not identifying to a specific species. But it's this section of RNA known as polynucleotides that will specifically, again, target the fibroblast cells and through uh, different processes will stimulate the fibroblast cells and may even stimulate uh, new hair follicle cells as it would do in the skin. It will stimulate new cells and it will improve the, f the functioning of those hair follicles. So we see a thickening and even an increased density of hair when we're treated with polynucleotides. The third and really exciting treatment that we're now offering at Skin Excellence Clinics are human derived exosomes. Now these are stem cell exosomes which have come from uh, mesenchymal or fat stem cells. And these are applied topically to the skin of the scalp. And then at the same time, we're doing a micro needling, a dry needling process of the scalp. And there will be a penetration of these exosomes. Now these exosomes contain many, many thousands of different growth factors. So a very powerful way of, again, stimulating the hair follicles, uh, stimulating stem cells to produce new hair follicles. So this, these new treatments are gonna really, I think, revolutionize the uh, hair loss treatment industry. Because obviously, you know, hair transplantation has been one of the mainstays of, of, of hair regrowth. What type of hair loss will respond to treatments? So certainly with PRP, we see good results with both female and male pattern hair loss. So these are the hormonal hair losses that we see. So in men, male pattern baldness can be a genetic thing starting from any age. And, and we see good results in, in maintaining hair function. Uh, and, and improving the quality of the hair follicles. Likewise in women, women suffer often with hair loss uh, around the pregnancy due to hormonal issues, but equally in the menopause, it's very common to get hair loss. And PRP can work very well in these situations. Um, polynucleotides and exosomes, 
maybe will work in more res re resistant types of hair loss, such as the sort of autoimmune hair loss, those sort of things where the hair follicles have been lost or, 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 or are permanently switched off. Uh, and I have seen, we've seen some exciting cases where certainly with exosomes, we can see some significant changes to, to the hair in those more difficult to treat situations. Many clinics offer PRP. Why come to Skin Excellence Clinics? Many clinics do offer PRP and even, even uh, worryingly now I see a lot of uh, beauticians and even hairdressers offering PRP. It's a worry. Um, actually, we are, we're a medical uh, care quality or C quality, CQC regulated building. We're taking your blood and there are stri strict guidelines around blood taking and using someone's blood even uh, from a health and hygiene point of view. Um, that's really important. But more importantly from my perspective is that there are different ways of extracting the platelet cells safely and ending up with active platelet cells, not dead ones. So we can actually use those cells and the growth factors. And so there are cheap and cheerful ways of trying to do that. Centrifuging blood is not a way of obtaining PRP. It has to be more specific than that. We have to be able to fully separate the cells. So we offer a quality medically proven methods of cell separation to provide our PRP. It can make it a more costly procedure, but we can be more guaranteeing that we are injecting you with high concentrations of PRP or platelet-rich plasma and not fobbing you off with something that is not that product. And that's what's happening out there a lot, I'm afraid. If someone's considering a hair transplantation, are these treatments advised before and after? Often when patients are having hair transplantation, they're advised following their transplant to have PRP. And in fact, many are, are having a first session of PRP immediately uh, after their hair transplantation. Uh, the answer is definitely yes. Um, before hair transplantation, we can, uh, we can improve the quality of all your hair follicles, not only the ones that are going to be transplanted, but the donor site where the hair follicles are going to be placed will improve and make the, uh, the, the hair transplantation more successful, that those transplanted hair follicles are more likely to survive. Um, also, once there's been a transplantation, PRP is very effective in actually supporting the, the new hair follicles, helping them grow the hair, and in the long term, preventing further hair loss, uh, certainly if there are hormonal issues to your hair loss. What hormonal treatments and nutritional support do you offer to help hair loss? Hormonal issues for a lot of men and women are, are key to their, to their, to their hair loss. Uh, certainly in women, uh, it's associated with the menopause and we can check for not only the, the hormone levels, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, and we can supplement with, with bioidentical uh, hormone replacement therapy if necessary, or patients can, can actually seek hormone replacement therapy from their own GP. Uh, but we can certainly check for that and advise on, on hormone effects in women. In men, it's more difficult because it's related to, uh, to, to testosterone and the sensitivity of the testosterone in their hair follicles. Uh, so we obviously we can check for that and we can support that uh, certainly through um, uh, nutritional supplements and other topical treatments that can, can block the effect of testosterone on the hair follicles. How many treatments are needed? So when we're dealing with hair loss, uh, usually the response to treatment is quite slow. Uh, it can take many months before you see significant hair growth following a single treatment. Uh, we know, know that uh, most patients need a course of treatment. Uh, in, in, in this clinic, we usually advise two or three, and then we have a wait and see approach and see the response to treatment, which can take three to six months to see the full effects. Um, most patients will need some form of maintenance treatment every six months or so to maintain that hair growth. And if patients are suffering with hair loss due to hormonal issues or due to the, uh, in male cases, the effect of the hormones on the hair follicles, then we usually suggest a maintenance with topical treatments to uh, block the effect of testosterone on the hair follicle. 
Are the treatments painful? Generally speaking, these treatments aren't particularly painful. At skin excellence clinics, when we're doing PRP into the scalp, we use an injection gun, which pretty painlessly injects a needle and the PRP into the scalp. And it's a very clever device because it injects so fast, the pain receptors are not activated. So we have a painless way of, of, of treating you scalp with PRP. Um, when we're injecting the polynucleotides, we do need to put some local anesthetic onto the scalp to numb it. Uh, and then there's some minor discomfort injecting polynucleotides into the scalp. And with exosomes, there is very little, if any, pain at all because we're using a superficial microneedling pen uh, with the exosomes on the surface. So on the whole, these are, are relatively pain-free procedures most of the time. Is there any downtime? With PRP, uh, there is very little downtime when we're treating the scalp and the hair follicles. Um, when you leave the clinic, they may, it may look like there is some blood on the superficial layer of the skin of the scalp, but this is actually the residual PRP on the surface, and that's easily washed off when you get home, when you have a shower and wash your hair, and there really is no downtime after that. With polynucleotides, there is uh, some slight bumpiness of the scalp for a few days that can be felt. Uh, and with exosomes and microneedling, there, there is no downtime at all other than some slight redness of the scalp itself.